Hey, my name is Kevin, and I work on the digital web platform team here at HashiCorp. My focus has been on version docs, but today I'll be sharing with you a relatively new plugin for HashiCorp Waypoint called the Lambda Function URL plugin. I'll showcase how easy it is to containerize and deploy several web frameworks in various languages and get a nice publicly visible URL up and ready in a matter of seconds. Here are a few points that I want to highlight up front. I'll be using an existing Waypoint server, so I won't go over server setup. Some prior understanding of Docker will be nice to have, but not crucial. Some prior understanding of AWS Lambda as a platform will also be nice to have, but again, not crucial. I'll do my best to accommodate viewers of varying backgrounds and try not to assume too much prior knowledge. By the end of this talk, I'm hoping to leave you with a few fun takeaways. What? You can run a whole server, routes, middleware, and all on Lambda? Wow, I've never seen Swift running on a server. Neat. Waypoint is super approachable and easy to use. Without further ado, I'll jump straight into what using Waypoint with our new Lambda function URL plugin looks like. I'll work from this repository that houses several different framework examples, starting with the Go example. This is a pretty simple HTTP server that runs on port 8080 and returns some HTML. First, I'll cd into my go directory, run waypoint init, and then waypoint up. This will kick off a series of steps to build, deploy, and release our application. Behind the scenes, waypoint is building an image of our app using Docker and handling all the imperative bits such as image tagging, image publishing, Lambda function provisioning and setting up any IM permissions. Waypoint up finished in 38 seconds, which is pretty fast in my opinion. And we can see a public URL for our app. And here's the HTML that our app returns and another arbitrary route. And just to reinforce how easy and quick Waypoint is to use, I'll add some basic middleware and some API docs to our server and redeploy it. I'll uncomment these bits. This is our middleware, and this is our API docs. I'll save and run Waypoint up. So this middleware will enable us to toggle the theme of the HTML being served via query string params. And the docs are some random swagger docs that will be available under the slash docs route. So if we go to our deployment right now, the docs aren't yet visible since they don't exist for that deployment yet. So we'll just wait for our waypoint uh, process to finish. And this time it took 37 seconds, which again is super fast. And if we refresh, nice, our API, API docs are here. And then we can also check our query string param. And that works as well. You can already see how drastically Waypoint streamlines the deployment process for you. For a quick change of scenery, I'll move on to our Dino example. And to fill in any potential gaps that viewers may have, I'll give a high level overview of our application code, our Docker file, and our waypoint.hcl file. This is our application code. With the specific language aside, chances are that everyone is familiar with this part. This is basically your home base as a developer. All of the examples I have today are using some popular request response framework like Express for Node, Flask for Python, Rocket for Rust, etc. An important call out here is that no special changes are necessary when writing your application code for a platform like Lambda and function URLs. There's feature parity between your development and production code, which is one of the tenets of the of uh, 12 factor apps. 
Next up is our Docker file, and here's where the popular tool Docker comes into play. In case you're not familiar with Docker, if you've ever heard the term containers being thrown around, chances are folks are talking about Docker. If you are familiar, however, you'll appreciate the fact that Waypoint abstracts away all the repetitive tasks for you. So what is this Docker file? A Docker file is a series of instructions that specify how your application gets packaged into what is called a Docker image. An image is like a blueprint from which you or anyone can run multiple containers from. Running our application locally with Docker might look like this make build. This runs this Docker command uh, docker build t dino oak latest. And running that container would look like this docker run and then a bunch of flags afterwards. And here is our app running locally with Docker. Zooming in just a little bit further, there's a special bit to note called a Lambda extension. This one is called AWS Lambda Web Adapter, and it's maintained by AWS Labs, but I have it conveniently hosted on my own container registry. This serves as a compatibility layer between Lambda and our friendly request response frameworks. Without it, our apps wouldn't be able to pass data back and forth between the Lambda platform and our framework code. And lastly is our waypoint.hcl file. Running application code and containerizing it are pretty standardized as of today, but deploying can vary significantly between teams as well as organizations. Conveniently for us, Waypoint streamlines all of this behind a simple interface. The gist of it all is that you simply provide a special waypoint.hcl file, which is a declarative file that specifies how Waypoint itself will build and deploy your application. And then you run Waypoint up, and it's really as simple as that. To give you a sense of the breadth of which you as a developer may use Waypoint, I'll go ahead and deploy a few more examples in other languages to our Lambda function URLs. Now I have a few terminal tabs open so that I can run several waypoint commands in parallel. I'll go ahead and deploy the Dino, Rust, Next.js, and Swift apps. I'll cd into each of these directories and run waypoint init and waypoint up. I'm simply picking these four examples because Dino is the new kid on the block, Rust is pretty hot right now, Next.js just so we have an example that isn't another backend framework, and Swift because using a mobile app language to write a server that runs in a container that's executed in a serverless function makes absolutely no sense. Uh, I mean so that iOS developers can see how powerful of a tool Waypoint can be for them. As you can see, Waypoint was able to deploy four apps in 38, 39, 45, and 48 seconds. Basically several in under a minute. If this is not considered blazing fast, then I don't know what is. Now I'll just go quickly view our Lambda function URLs. And I'll just quickly open all of these in my browser. So this is our Dino example working. Our Rust example. Our neat looking Next.js example. 
and our Swift example. I'll gloss over the code to give a quick look at the various languages used. So do you know we already saw we have a route handler at the base route that returns some HTML? And basically all of these examples return some HTML. This is the Rust example. Next.js, this is pretty standard for a Next app. And the Swift example. We have a route handler that returns HTML and one that says, hello world. And that's pretty much it for Waypoint and deploying various apps to Lambda function URLs. Hopefully I showcased how simple Waypoint is to use and how quickly it can get an application fully built and deployed. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to reach out and stay tuned for more to come in the Waypoint ecosystem. Thanks for watching.